Logic Pro has an amazing range of loops and samples that you can use in your projects, but what if you want to use your own custom sounds or sounds you've downloaded from the internet in your projects? Well, that's what we're going to show you in this video. Let's go. <laughs> If you've used GarageBand on your iPad or other similar digital audio workstations, Logic Pro works a little bit differently in that you can't actually access your external files from within the app. What you need to do is open up the Files app and then drag them into your project. It's really easy to do, and let's show you that now. Let's start by creating a brand new project. We'll tap on the Tracks view to create a new project here in Logic Pro, and we're going to tap on Patches, Loops, or Samples, but we're not going to use the included ones what we need to do is actually go to the files app and choose our files from there so i'm going to swipe up from the bottom of my ipad and go to the files app now if you don't have the files app you can download it from the app store but if you're using logic pro on ipad you probably know a bit about the files app now my files are stored here on icloud drive and i store them under my studio live today and a samples folder here just for the purpose of this demonstration now to get these easily dragged over to your project tap on these three dots at the top here and go to the slide overview. This is going to throw files over to the side. So now when we go back into Logic Pro, it's going to sit right there and it's going to make it easy for us to drag these files over into our project. Let's start with this hi-hat loop. Now we can preview these simply by tapping on the loop there and then hitting the play button. And if that's the loop that we want, we can hit done and then drag it across. So if we tap and hold and drag this, we can place it right here on our project and boom, there you go. Now, you might be thinking, that doesn't line up. This is actually a 140 BPM loop. What we can do is change the BPM here just by using that, change the tempo. But a cool thing that we have in Logic Pro is the ability to stretch our loops right here. So that makes it pretty cool because we can tap the stretch button here, tap on this one and then just stretch this out, which is actually going to make it align with our 120 BPM project. Let's show you that one more time. We'll grab this loop and drag it and drop it onto a second track here. And if we just use our zoom to zoom in there, we can see we've got a similar sort of problem here. What do we do? Well, again, we can either drag that back or just stretch it out to cover an extra couple of bars. And now these two tracks are going to align perfectly. But wait, there's more. There's a lot of other cool options. You can import your sounds into things like Drum Machine Designer, into the Sample Alchemy, or even into your Quick Sample. And to do that, what we need to do is grab a one-shot sample. It can work with loops, but one-shots are better. And drag it. This time, instead of dropping it into your project here, drop it into a new track using the track header. So when we release there, you can see here, we can select now Sample Alchemy, Quick Sampler, or Drum Machine Designer. Just for demonstration, let's take on quick sampler and now we can play this one shot sample right here using the keyboard interface super cool we're done with the files for now so what we can do is actually tap these three dots and hit close just to get our space back here to record in our track if we tap on the back button here go to the start of our project let's just play in a little melody part using our own custom sample as the instrument And there you go, you can see it's created a MIDI track here, but it's using our audio file. How cool is that? If we play it back. So I think you can see here that the sky's the limit here. You can bring in all your own custom sounds and anywhere where you can drag and drop your files into Logic is going to allow you to use your own sounds for that. I hope you found this useful. Heaps more Logic videos down in the description and I'll see you next time.